As one of the deadliest water creatures, a leech can bite through your skin, attach its suckers to your body, and drain the blood from you in no time. Now, one leech won't pose a lot of problems for you, right? You can easily get rid of it and go on your way. Well, what about a pool of millions of them? It won't be that easy, right? So, how do you survive such a deadly occurrence? We'll fill you in on all of the details in just a sec, but before that, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to stay updated. Done that? Let's get right into it. Leeches of almost 650 species, varying from 15 mm to 45 cm in size. One of the largest leeches is a giant Amazon leech that can grow to almost 45 cm in length and 10 cm in width. These leeches are deadly creatures. They have two suckers on both ends. One of the suckers is the mouth, which they attach to the body of their prey. The mouth produces a numbing saliva. This is the reason why most of their prey won't even know when they're being attacked. A leech could silently drain the blood from you without you even realizing it. This unique deadly saliva increases the blood flow so they can suck as much as they can and as quickly as they can. This pool is filled with 9 million leeches impatiently looking for someone to suck blood from. If you happen to find yourself inside one of these, the key is not to make any movements since this is how the leeches will find you. They notice the minute disturbances in water to look for their prey. Make a move and you're gone. Baby leeches target marine animals like small fish or frogs, but the bigger, larger ones only look and hunt for mammals with lots of blood, including you. They can take up to 45 minutes to quench their thirst. Usually they target the groin, between the toes, armpits, and unnoticeable areas where they can attach themselves and enjoy drinking your blood slowly and constantly. Since their saliva will numb us, we'll never notice the bite, nor will we know that our body is being emptied of its blood. These horrible creatures can even kill you by suffocating you. They enter the nose or the mouth and block the airways. Make sure you keep all known openings in your body covered up. Some cotton in the ears and nose might save you only if you keep your mouth closed. We have 5 liters of blood and we can only survive with at least 60% of it inside our bodies. This means as humans we're probably going to die if we lose 40% of our blood. These deadly leeches have the capacity of drinking 5 to 15 mils of blood in one meal. It means it'll take 120 leeches to kill you and 300 of them to dry you up. In 2008, a 65-year-old man in Turkey ended up in hospital having unstoppable bleeding. The doctors examined him and found leech bites all over his body. He received eight units of frozen plasma. He was lucky enough to survive these creepy leeches. Some remedies can be used to save you. You can use salt, lemon, or fire to make them vomit over you, but this can cause you some bacterial infection, which could also prove to be deadly. A more effective way could be to detach them from your body using your fingernails or your credit card. Find the thinnest part of their body. This is where their mouth will be. Now use something sharp like your nails and detach them from you. Wash the wound and disinfect it. If by any chance you end up consuming leech-infested water, you could die of blood drainage. Imagine you're swimming and accidentally some leeches enter inside your body along with the water. This is how many people have died in Africa. They drank leech-infected water unknowingly. In 2004, a 15-year-old girl in Tanzania was suffering from anemia and cardiorespiratory distress. She vomited up a leech that she had drunk in water after three days of in the hospital. Make sure you never even take a sip of any water which you don't know the source of. Now, let's tell you of two more deadly creatures. In the waters of the Amazon, many creatures are looking for you. All they want is to find you and then savor you. The best you can do is to stay away from this deadly water. One of them is the Kandiru. This is a parasitic catfish that stays in the Amazon River and hunts for savory food along with its cousins. The smallest of these fish is only 2.5 millimeters, and they feed on the larger fish by attaching to their gills. The locals believe that this fish and its family can attach themselves to your urethra. Just imagine, what would you do if you're surrounded by millions of these? One of the freshest water systems on Earth, the Yamazan River, is almost 7,000 kilometers long. Two-thirds of the species of animals and plants use this water for their survival. But how will you survive all these deadly fish? Well, it's commonly believed that these fish will find you by the smell of your urine. Yes, that's right. The locals of the area and some online sources are spreading the word that the smell of urine attracts Kandiru. It helps it to find its prey. 
This fish will find the source of the smell and will enter up the urethra of that organism. It makes the urinary tract its home and stays there, causing discomfort and infections. Researchers are still confirming this fact and are not sure about it yet. It might not enter your urethra because the opening is too small for it, but there are other ways this parasite can harm us. It has small spines that become erect and pierce through the skin of its host. Through these spines, it can then drink the blood of the host. If you get attacked by a large number of these fish, you might end up losing your blood and dying an unfortunate death. Therefore, be sure to use swimsuits and other swimming accessories like glasses and the likes to conceal all the exposed parts of your body. It's still under discussion whether the Candiro can detect the prey by the smell of urine, but one thing is sure, it can sense movement in the water to help find its prey. If you end up in water full of Candiru by chance, the only way to survive is to stay still. Throw something away from you so that this deadly fish gets attracted to that side of the water. Try to swim towards the land, and if that doesn't work and the fish starts feeding on your blood, Candiru will not be able to survive on land and will ultimately die. If you're brave enough, you can even let this fish feed on your blood and wait silently and calmly. Transparent fish will become red with blood and ultimately leave you and swim away. This will take about 30 to 145 minutes. If you have the nerves to wait for that long, only then go for this one. If you cannot even imagine waiting in this adverse situation, you will have to make some serious effort. Physically detach the spines of Kandiru. This will be painful and can cause tears on the skin. Hold the fish, preferably by the mouth, and pull with effort. If you don't want to touch the deadly thing, use a knife or a card with a sharp end. Try sliding the object under the head to cut off the spines and detach the Kandiru. If nothing works, try the last option of a forceful slap to remove it. If by any chance they make their way into your mouth, ear or nose, thoroughly rinse the area with alcohol to kill the fish. Let's repeat this. The Kandiru is large and cannot enter through the urethra. Let's all be grateful for that. You won't bleed when it detaches from your body because it feeds on fresh blood with no clots. But this area of the body can develop a severe wound and can be infected. Clean the wound with alcohol to avoid any infection. Seek medical attention immediately. The most beautiful areas on Earth also hold the most deadly creatures that can harm you, so be aware and savor the beauty of nature with caution and planning. While traveling, always look for local travel guides who know the rivers, the jungles, and the unknown creepy creatures that live there. Mostly, the local escorts know what to do if you encounter anything unexpected. Well, we'll probably think you're not taking Kandiru seriously because it's just a small creature, but wait until you hear about the next one on our list. The last and by far the most deadly one on our list is the box jellyfish. The venom of this jellyfish can kill you in only a few minutes. This is one of the most deadly creatures in the marine world. This fish not only kills you, but does it in an excruciatingly painful way. The problem with this one is that you cannot easily see them swimming around. They have 10-foot-long tentacles filled with venom. You cannot save yourself from their attack if you encounter one. It's better to stay away from the water if you're traveling in an unknown area. And if at any cost you have to enter the water, don't forget to cover up with a swimsuit. Follow the steps to save your life if you get attacked by this boxfish. The first thing to remember is that your best bet is just to swim, swim, and swim away as fast as you can. The jellyfish will swim after you since it is different from the usual jellyfish. Normal jellyfish only float along the water currents, but this box jellyfish can swim intentionally. There are more than 2,000 types of these jellyfish around the world. If you happen to encounter any of them, only one sting could be enough to kill you. On a Thai beach, 15 jellyfish stinging accidents were found, out of which six were life-threatening. The sting of the box jellyfish will feel like a bite of an insect. The only difference is you won't see any insect around. The box jellyfish will sting using its tentacles, which are like a killing weapon that they use on their prey. Tentacles are made up of thousands of stinging cells. Inside these cells are nematocysts. Each nematocyst is like a spiral thread that's ready to be launched at the prey. They can fire these nematocysts at 60 kilometers an hour. Inside, a thin tube injects the venom inside the poor organism. That's about to die a painful death. After this point, you need to seek emergency medical care because your life is in danger. The venom of the box jellyfish will take only three minutes to kill you. Just as they'll sting you, you'll start feeling muscle spasms, extreme tiredness, and a racing heartbeat. Your body will start trembling and dying out. Confusion will stop you even moving or taking any action. 
your lungs will start burning and breathing will become almost impossible. One of the scientists named Angel Yanagihara was doing her PhD research only 500 meters offshore when she was stung by this jellyfish in Hawaii. She couldn't see the jellyfish, but she could feel the sting in her arm and neck. Within minutes, her lungs became distressed, and she started shaking and becoming breathless. She made her way to the shore and was taken to the hospital, where she recovered after three days. It was such a horrifying experience for her that she decided to dedicate her life to studying these creatures and educating people about how to save themselves if they experience such adversity. The first thing after the sting is to try and remove the strings from your skin as quickly as possible. You can use any sharp thing such as a knife, tweezers, or a sharp card. Don't touch the strings because the venom will then come in contact with your skin again. When you remove them, your chances of survival will increase since less venom will enter your body. Applying water to the wound will increase the pain you experience. Instead, you can apply vinegar to the wound. It'll not only stop the venom from spreading, but it'll also help to ease the pain. Some of you might have heard of the old urban myth of peeing on the victim. It was believed that human pee could help the venom from spreading. Well, that's just a myth. Don't even try it because you don't have any time to waste. All you have to do is remove the strings and run to the hospital as fast as you can. We don't have time in this critical situation to experiment with old myths. Urine will also increase your pain, so just forget about this one. Another incident with this box jellyfish took place in Australia, where a 10-year-old boy was having his swimming lesson. He was lucky enough because lifeguards surrounded him. The moment he was stung, they immediately brought him back to shore, which was 50 meters away. The lifeguards cleaned the wound with vinegar and took him to the hospital with an increased heart rate. He became stable after a few hours and was released from the hospital. Having a better understanding of these deadly creatures can help us to prevent and take necessary measures if something unexpected happens. They are mostly found in the oceans, but also some fresh, warmer waters 100 meters away from shore. The most dangerous species are found in northern Australia. They're believed to be the most deadly marine animals. They vary in size from small to almost 2.4 meters in diameter, but the worst part is the length of their tentacles, which can go as far as 60 meters. One thing you have to avoid is warm water because it's like the home of these creatures, and you're sure to find one there. Well, I guess after watching this video, you won't consider sharks to be the most deadly creature underwater, because these jellyfish can kill you without you even seeing it or feeling the bite. One of the best ways to save ourselves is to stay away from the water. So, what do you think about these deadly sea creatures? We'd like to read your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like and share the video, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell to stay up to date with new uploads.